I'm now with Tim Yates and we're on the Kubota stand. Tim, um, first off, how's the show going? Yeah, it's been very good, thank you. We had a we're certainly a strong day yesterday. Look forward to the same today. Uh, fingers crossed. It seems to be getting busy, so that's, that's is, good yeah. news. Um, something brand new here. I mean, an actual prototype that I guess nobody's seen before, have they? No, it's the first time this machine's been uh, been, been here at Soltex. Um, just uh, recently this year, we purchased uh, an Italian company called Gianni Ferrari, yep. uh, now known as Kubota Gianni Ferrari. And this is a product from that factory, and it's the first of uh, first of many that will be coming through. So it's a cut and collect machine, yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. It's something that we've um, we've not had in our lineup is a is a cut and collect mower um, where it collects through the centre of the machine rather than with the grass coming round the, the outside into a turbine. So it's uh, it's, a, it's a new addition to the Kubota range. And what are the key benefits of that then? Um, better collection performance. Um, in, in this case, we've got different Moadex we can put on the front. So this one's got a flail, uh, so yeah. it's a flail cut and collect, or we can have the rotary decks as well. And there's various other features on here um, that, that, that uh, yeah, make it collect better. An auger in there in this case, which brings the grass into the center when it's yeah. been cut to put it through into the collector. So it's, it's a very efficient way of cutting and collecting and grass. What power unit are you using on it? A uh, Kubota engine, would you be surprised? <laughs> Okay, right, so that's not the only new thing on the stand, is it? No, nope, not at all. Um, we've got two other products on the stand which, uh, which we've not seen at Soltex before. We've got the uh, Kubota Escorts tractor, um, a tie-up we've got with an Indian company, Escorts. Right, okay. Um, we're we're a, a, a majority shareholder in that business. So we've got a, an Escorts Kubota tractor on the stand um, just there. That's the first time that's been at the stand. And is that, the what's in the range of that? Is it a one? At the moment, it's, that's, that's the first product again that's yeah. coming through as, um, as Escorts, and we expect there'll be more over And where's the, over that based in kind of the, the hierarchy of the range? It's an uh, entry level product. Okay. It so is. It's kind of like a combi tractor, would it be? Or? Yeah, yeah, utility tractor. Utility tractor. Yeah, absolutely, okay. yeah. Uh, and the third item? The third item is uh, a product that was sort of, um, there was a press release out um, uh, about a year ago about it, which is our electric tractor yeah. based on our LX series. Um, pretty excited to have that here. Of course, everybody's asking for different Absolutely, power sources yeah. and that sort of thing. So it's a prototype that we've got here. Um, we're going to be having that on test in the UK with various customers uh, next year. And then we've not got a defined date for mass production, but I would imagine it'll be certainly more than a year until okay. mass production. So again, where, where, what sort of part of the market is that pitched at? Who's your customer going to be, do you think? on That, that would certainly be top end yeah. um, and batteries come with various challenges such as run time you know they take a bit of time yeah. to charge up and so on so it might be best suited into sports turf applications where the machine's not got to go a uh, road transport between sites yeah. and so on but certainly um, top end of the turf sector okay and in terms of you talk about the battery life and the charge times etc have you got that info yet or is that something that you're going to Establish through the testing process. Exactly that. We're going to we're going to establish that through the through the testing process next year. And that will be fascinating to see how that comes along, and uh, we look forward to hearing more about it too. I look forward to sharing it with you. Have a good rest of the show. Thank you very much. Thanks.